Hi friends! For this project we're going to be using Canva again. In order to get to Canva you need to go to canva.com that's C-A-N-V-A. If you have not used this website before then you're going to want to sign in and create an account. If you have go ahead and log in and you'll see the normal home screen that we usually see. As usual we're going to search for our uh, design size and we're going to start again with the word logo because that gives us a nice square shape. We click on logo and it will bring up our designs. Again, while you can choose one of, the, one of their many templates, you're going to want to start with a blank logo design. Go ahead and click on that and we'll get started. Once your design opens, you're going to have a blank white square that we're going to design your clock. Now your clock will be a square piece of wood that we cut a hole in the center and add on the functioning uh, clock arms that keep actual time for your clock. What you'll be designing is what gets burned into the clock on the background. So for this project, we have to stick to black and white design, meaning the white will be the wood, the black will be what gets burned into it. Now again, you can always choose a pre-designed theme and logo and format, but we can only work in black and white. So if you choose something colorful like this, this will not print because it does not show up. It's animated. We can't do any of this with the laser printer. What we have to do is stick to black and white. To design your own, you should use elements and you can use shapes or graphics that are all black and white. So if I wanted a football, I would search for it. And here again, I cannot use any of these that are colorful unless I can make them black and white. So if I wanted to put in a football like this, I would click on it. Now notice it's in white already, white on a white background. I just need to make sure that I change it to be the color black. If I do this, I could have a clock with a football on it. And then maybe I put my favorite team's name across of it. So I would go to text. And again, I would have to add the text in either black or white. Now, I'll choose heading because that puts the text in. And I personally am a Broncos fan. So I'll put the word Broncos in. But I don't like this boring font. So what I can always do is change the font style to something um, that fits better with what I'm creating. Um, and I don't want to scroll here. Here, I'll put it in script. So I'll make a Broncos one. I can always make it bigger um, so that it fits my clock. And to do that, I would change the font size. I can make it larger. And then I can move everything around. I can put my football where I want. I can put my word where I want. And once I have everything exactly how I want it, you'll submit it. And this is what would show up on your clock. We would put a hole right in the middle with the arms extending out and we will print it. Now, some of you will say, what if I want the numbers going around my clock? There's a couple ways you can do this. The first way is to manually add all of the numbers or tick marks of the clock around your clock. And you'll have to be very careful doing this and very precise. But to do that, you would go to elements. If you wanted the tick marks, you would just put in a line and you would pick your line that you wanted it to look like. I'll just choose without searching here a uh, plain line and I would put it. So if I wanted a line at three o'clock, right, I would put my little three o'clock line. Remember, you can always copy and paste um, your line so that you can oops, move things around. So I'm going to copy and paste it and then I'm going to move this one over here. So I have three o'clock, nine o'clock. Make sure they stay level at zero degrees. There we go. So I would make, put my, uh, my little uh, lines in that represent my clock, and I would do it all the way around. I'm not going to do that. I would do 12 o'clock, 1, 2, 3, all the way around. And if you do that, you can have it look like a clock. Now, some of you might want to add numbers. Again, go to text. Put in font, um, for example, if you wanted the six o'clock number, right, you would put in a six, you would move the six down to the six o'clock spot, you could move your design around, 
so that it all fit on there. Maybe you put all your design within the clock so that you have your tick marks around the clock. You can put numbers around at every 12, 3, 6, and 9 or every hour, however you want to design it. This is the easiest way to do it, but it might take a little bit of time. Now, a second way to get these tick marks in around your clock is kind of a shortcut way. Now, it won't add the numbers, but it will make things even around your uh, clock. So I'm going to get rid of the ones I did just to show you. Here's what I would do. In text, and let's be clear, in text, because if I do this in elements or templates, it won't work. In text, type the word clock, and as long as you start it with a logo, you'll get this font. If I click on it, it's going to put in perfectly aligned clock tick marks. The only problem is I have all this font on the inside. If I just click on them, I can delete them all, and I'll be left with my clock and my shape. Now. You'll notice that I can't click on what I have behind there anymore. That's because this is in on top of it. So if I go up to position and I tell it to go to the back, then now I can click on my shape. And if I center everything up now within my tick marks and move my font and I can shrink it and make it exactly what I want, then I can make my clock exactly how I want to be. And with a hole that I cut in the middle, you'll have a perfectly uh, timed clock with your logo in the center. If you want numbers around any of these edges, you're going to have to go to text and add regular text and put in your number and put it where you want that number at. You still have to do the numbers manually, but you'll have those uh, marks perfectly aligned. If you have any questions, please see me. I can't wait to see what you create.